Yeah, Bitdefender is constantly topping the charts in the antivirus world. But all of those awards don't actually say much about how to use Bitdefender, now do they? Hey guys, I'm Mike and today I'm going to do a Bitdefender tutorial 2022 style. From how to install it to how to get the most out of your plan. Now, like I said, Bitdefender has quite the reputation. But you know, things can sometimes get praised without any solid reasons. So, what's actually behind the best antivirus 2022 title? Well, I'll talk about specific things that I like and some that I don't throughout this Bitdefender tutorial. But there's one thing that I can say right off the bat, it works well. Even according to the latest AV test, the Bitdefender 2022 version blocked 100% of threats. And of course, I had to do my own testing as I do for any antivirus. Out of the 10 malicious files that I planted onto my device, Bitdefender found and removed nine of them. So yeah, it works. <laughs> and that is a great result, which compared to Windows Defender, who detected zero threats in my most recent testing, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's just a little background info on Bitdefender for anyone who's curious. Okay, now, how do they actually handle and what's the install process like? Okay, so I have the Bitdefender total security plan set up for myself. Whichever one that you've got, the interface is not gonna differ all that much. Oh, and if you still need a Bitdefender antivirus plan, well, I left a discount link down in the description. Check it out after the video since it's definitely gonna save you a few bucks. Okay, the very obvious first step of this Bitdefender Total Security Tutorial 2022 was to install the app itself. It took around 10 minutes, but yeah, in previous downloads, it only took four minutes, so mm, maybe it could be more of an internet issue this time. Mm, I hope it is. Well, that aside, despite the abundance of features, the Windows and Mac versions were actually fairly simple to use. See, the apps really look about the same. The main difference is that I found a few more features on the Windows version. Just check out this dashboard. I've got all the essentials here and I can add or remove stuff for quick access. It's pretty nifty. So the app looks good and it's easy to navigate. Yep, even beginners are not gonna feel lost here. All right, now that shield in the corner shows your device's health. If you see a green one like me, congrats, you're safe. If it turns red, Bitdefender Antivirus found something a bit sus on your device. Thankfully, you can perform the scans right from the dashboard. Super easy to manage. Yep, that's the real-time protection that's always running. It catches viruses, trojans, worms, ransomware, yada, 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 all the more advanced threats encountered on the internet. Honestly, the real-time protection is one of the main reasons I say Bitdefender is one of the best antivirus for Windows options. I only ever really consider a provider great if they have this capability. All right, moving on, let's take a look at the protection section. Now from here, I can turn on things like anti-spam or the firewall, but I did notice that the firewall feature can sometimes interfere with my VPN connection whenever I use another standalone VPN app. So you might wanna keep that in mind. And on the topic of VPNs, the privacy tab is where you can see their own VPN, which comes with the Bitdefender Total Security 2022 plan. In all honesty, the VPN is, well, a little lackluster, at least when compared to standalone apps. But it's cool to have in case you don't wanna pay extra for this tool, or maybe if you're new to VPNs in general. Also in this tab, I can toggle with the anti-tracker settings. I usually keep this turned on for my Google Chrome app. And what's even cooler is I could set up video and audio protection from this tab. That's something even the Mac version doesn't have yet. Their website has quite a transparent list. So if you're still wondering if Bitdefender is worth it, check it out. You can see everything that you're gonna get. All right, now are the mobile apps very different? Well, let's quickly do a Bitdefender 2022 review for smartphone apps. And to be fair, the discrepancies between Android and iOS are pretty significant. I honestly think that the iOS version isn't the best option on the market. It's basically just a data checker with a very limited VPN. It all just kind of falls apart when compared to the built-in protection Apple already offers. But after my Bitdefender antivirus review for Android, oh, I was quite impressed. See, there's a proper dashboard and a malware scanner. I also found web protection, all the things a good antivirus should offer. I was even pleasantly surprised to find the anti-theft and share protection features here. It's pretty handy for that extra security, right? 
So yeah, anyway, those are pretty much the main things I wanted to cover for this Bitdefender Total Security tutorial. Oh, and by the way, if you run into any issues with Bitdefender, there's also the help section on the top and there's user guides and customer support. But I truly think, or at least I truly hope, that after this Bitdefender Total Security 2022 review and tutorial, you'll have no problems using the app. Let me know if that's the case and subscribe if this video was helpful in any way whatsoever. So if you haven't yet got the app, well, you might wanna know what the plans are, right? Now, as I said, I use Total Security, but it can get quite expensive. Now, if you just don't have a budget at all, the Bitdefender free version is pretty good, at least for baseline protection. Now, as far as I know, the Bitdefender Antivirus Plus package is the most common choice, since it's a little more affordable. But again, keep in mind that not all plans are gonna support Mac devices. So which one you pick is completely up to you. Hopefully this Bitdefender review made your choice a little bit easier. To see what Bitdefender offers, well, you can go through this box on the side. It'll automatically apply the best deal if you decide to get Bitdefender. All right, I think that's all from my end. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.